Remembrance Day commemorates Canadians who died in service to Canada from the South African War to current missions. It is held every year on November 11th. The first Remembrance Day was conducted in 1919 throughout the Commonwealth. Originally called Armistice Day, it commemorated the end of the First World War on Monday, November 11th, 1918 at 11 a.m. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. My name is Ali Herchi. I'm a sergeant for the Canadian Forces. Um, I joined the Canadian Forces back in 1995 and I started it through the co-op program at my high school. So instead of taking uh, courses during the day, I opted to take military training. I lasted for six months from February to June and after that it was up to me to decide whether I want to stay and carry on or, uh, or you know, go back to doing what I was doing before. And uh, after my training I decided to stay on and, and it's been about 19 years and, and I've been doing that full time since. It, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to wear a uniform. Um, there's a lot of people before me that have worn this uniform that have done great things. So for me to, to sport this green and to, uh, to, to show proudly that I'm a member of the Canadian Forces that, that, that stands to defend what Canada is all about, for me it's important. The poppy is a symbol of uh, remembrance and it's, uh, it's a symbol that's known worldwide, uh, specifically in, in British Commonwealth countries. Um, it gives people an opportunity to remember the sacrifices that were made based on the red on, on your chest or on your, on your jacket. Um, the Poppy campaign also raises money for veterans. And when I talk about veterans who are 70, 80, 90 years old, the veterans that are my age or younger that were killed, or sorry, wounded overseas that need artificial limbs or need rehab now to get on with their lives, it supports those veterans. Remembrance Day for me, uh, means a lot. Like it, it gives us or it gives me an opportunity to remember what people have done before us. Um, I'm talking about a hundred years ago. Next year we're coming up to the hundredth anniversary of World War One, which took place in 1912 to 1914. Um, it was a big deal. We lost over 1.5 million Canadians in one war alone. Um, and for me it's important that you know we as people in uniform take the time to remember what those people have done before us to give us what we have now. And it's also important for me to convey to young people like yourself that it is important to remember what people my age, people younger than myself, or people older than myself have done um, before you guys were even born. It gives us the privilege of walking around safe and sound in our own city to do what we want, when we want, without people telling us no. Um, you know, if you can imagine, how old are you? 16. 16. Imagine someone telling you, here's a, here's a uniform and here's a rifle, you need to go to war, and you don't have a choice about it. Right? That's, that's exactly what it is. It's people your age and people your friend's age that were told to go to war to defend um, freedom and they didn't have a choice in the matter. And in some cases they didn't know why they were going to war. And it probably didn't make sense to them at that, that time why they had to leave their family, their kids, um, you know, their future brides to go overseas to fight an enemy that they didn't really care about. But I think you know, we can all understand that if we look back to what they did way back when, um, we're appreciative of the fact that they did that, and it gives us, again, the freedom to do what we want in a country that's pretty much the best country in the world. My name is Ali Herji. I'm a sergeant with the Canadian Forces.